All right, I've been getting a lot of questions about <clears throat> lead acid batteries, and uh, seems to be a lot of confusion about how charging efficiency and discharging efficiency, discharge current, charging current, charging amps, um, charge voltage. So I uh, just want to take a minute. I had a spare battery here. In fact, this battery just uh, just kind of died on me. I was able to reju rejuvenate it, but that's a little bit of a different topic. Now I just want to see, after having rejuvenated, I want to see if it has its original rated capacity. Now, unfortunately, this battery is a starting battery, and it's from AAA, so there's really no other information that I can get on it. But rough equivalent uh, amp hours capacity is the cold cranking amps divided by 7.25-ish. Just found that, quick Google search. So that comes out roughly to 82 amp hours. I'm going to test it, and when you test, you don't want to discharge more than um, half of its capacity. So uh, you want to test at the one over, uh, the sorry, the capacity over 20 rate. So 80 divided by 20, you get four amps. That's perfect. We're going to be able to test this at four amp hours and it should take roughly uh, 10 hours, assuming that the battery is in its original um, manufacturer's configuration, you know, original uh, quality. So I got this little product here. Um, it's called, it's from West Mountain Radio. They call it their computer battery analyzer, CBA2, and you can get it at westmountainradio.com. Its max discharge capacity is 5 amps. So it's got a little computer fan, it's got a little heat sink, and it's got a computer-controlled uh, load cell on the bottom. They actually sell like a 600 amp hour uh, discharge bank that you can go with it, but it's prohibitively expensive. This was not terribly expensive. So it um, comes with a pretty, pretty decent app, and I've already entered in all the details here. So you can see I've selected a lead-acid battery, plunged in the 82.8 uh, amp hours. I got the voltage is roughly 12.7, six cells. Uh, we're going to discharge about half capacity. And then the test cutoff voltage is going to be 11.4. I would kind of prefer to go closer to 11.6, but it automatically populated that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Usually when you get that far down, it just drops off pretty quick. And then over here, this is actually the information that the, the device is sensing right now. So uh, the voltage it's sensing is 13.6. Now, um, a couple of my email chains back and forth to other people, I've discussed this phenomenon called uh, surface charge, and that is what we are experiencing right now. It is um, basically an overcharge, an overvoltage condition that occurs um, on the surface of the plates. So in order to get rid of that, we can either leave the battery sit or we can... Uh, do a 1% discharge. So a 1% discharge on 82.8 would be roughly 0.8 uh, amps. Um, we're going to do a test. Uh, this should be, sorry, that should be 4 amps. That's our test amperage, um, C over 20. So we'll get that down to 4, uh, four amps. And then um, the... What we'll do at that four amps, we should achieve the, uh, we should get rid of the surface charge in about 30 minutes. So uh, I'll show you the, show you the start and then hopefully come back in about 30 minutes and I'll show you that it does maintain, does in fact maintain 12.7. Uh, so you also see when I took this off the charge, it was holding out at about 13.2 and it's already drifted down to 13.05. 13.06 so you would have to wait 12 to 24 hours before it came down on its own all the way to the 12.7 the 12.7 is supposed to be the no load no charge current voltage I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, let's see no test name was provided let's see if I can add a test name test and I'll pause and get right back to you all right uh, computer kind of froze up, but now I've got test in there, and I believe I can push start, and there she goes. So, uh, the fan over here just started. My red light came on, says that the thing is, in fact, testing the current, and it will graph the volts and current 
the whole way down. So you can see it's already starting to graph. Now the voltage dropped off pretty quick. Little surprised by that. We may just have a bad battery. Let's see how this does. This might go very, very quickly. I may have to do another video with a good battery just to show you guys how this works. Now it is not uncommon for the loaded voltage to drop. That's in, that's very common, but the um, when it goes to its unloaded condition, that's what would be particularly odd. Now this is leveling out, um, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll come back, unpause the video when... Uh, when we either get to our test voltage or our test current, or it's been half an hour. We'll see how things go. Okay, it's only been a handful of minutes, but uh, just want to show you guys that it has pretty well leveled out. And we're reading about 12.22 volts and a current of 4 amps. We've sucked out about 0.24 amp hours. We're going for getting rid of that surface charge. So 1% would be 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 of the capacity. I'm doing that math right. Yes, it's 82 amp hours is the capacity. So 0 0.8 amp hours, nearly one amp hour. So when that one amp hour gets out, we'll uh, stop the test and see how the recovery voltage does. Stand by. So I'm going to take a minute to talk about why a computer battery analyzer is the the best way to do this and the, the reason is that it would be very easy to say that I have a 12 volt battery and I want to put a 1 amp or a 1 ohm load on it and I'm going to generate using my ohms law I'm going to get however much my current is what would that be 12 amps 12 amp load I might be doing the math wrong um, the problem is that it's not 12 12 volts. Right now it's 12.24 and as it discharges it will go even lower than that. It started at 12.7. So uh, as the voltage goes down this computer battery analyzer automatically adjusts the current. It is a regulated load. Uh, whatever I program in roughly 4 amps and then of course the computer battery analyzer part of it also goes on to uh, calculate the watts and the amp hours and it goes ahead and graphs it and so there's a lot more to the computer battery analyzer but uh, it's a little bit more difficult than just saying I'm going to apply a load easy peasy so I'm going to let this go we're just about at 0.8 right now uh, I'm going to let it go to 0.83 and that will be exactly one percent so we'll make sure we get exactly one percent that should bring the surface charge off, and I am prepared on the stop button. Uh, once I hit stop, the graph, it'll go into some sort of a menu where I can save the graph and all that. Uh, but the more important thing that we're going to watch is the voltage. The voltage should recover to 12.7. Here we go. Stop. Let's see what she does. All right, my red light went off. The fan's going to continue to run, cool down the, the supply. Let's see... Um, takes it a minute. I am running like a 20-year-old laptop here. All right, so you can see that the voltage has already recovered to 12.64. Now, I anticipate that this will stabilize roughly at 12.7. This is the no-load, no-current voltage. This is what you would consider a fully charged battery. Now, for most people, most intents and purposes, you can use, you know, that, that 13.06, it's, it's going to be basically your full charge. But a lot of our voltmeters, like if you just walked up to it and you said, what's my voltage? Am I full or not? You're going to see it pegged out. You're going to be, quote unquote, over full. Um, some battery monitors will monitor and they'll, they'll monitor the amp hours out, the amp hours in. They'll reset it. 12.7 and then you start your day at you see it's it's charging and it reads 14 volts you go okay I'm full 14 volts is full well that's not really the case and we'll get into that a little bit later 
uh, you have to take the charge off, and once the charge is off, allow that surface charge to to even out, to come out of it. So uh, there we are. I think we've pretty well stabilized at about 12.7. That, that brought it down, that 1% of charge brought it down from the 13.05, 13.6, which was almost nearly directly off the charge, um, down to about 12.7, 12.77. I'm still not quite there. It really should be about 12.70. Um, I think generally for, uh, for our situation, this will probably be okay. Uh, what I intend to do is actually start the test over. Um, this graph will go away. It will actually restart to a different graph, uh, to a fresh graph. But it was really there, you know, I was kind of trying to show what a loaded current, loaded voltage looked like. Uh, I do anticipate that there's a possibility this battery is bad. Uh, I was a little shocked at how low 4 amps was able to drag the current, the, the loaded voltage. Um, but the only way to know is to do a, an amp hour capacity test. So, um, stand by.